Welcome to another episode of Business Secrets Revealed. I'm your host, Sonda Yunus. Today, I have a very special guest with us, Neelam Patel, and she is the owner of Nirvana Medical Spa. She was also on the cover of Ocala Magazine as Top 40 Under 40 this year. Mm -hmm. So that was very (laughs) um, exciting. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for being here. I just want to pick your brain. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I guess to start, tell us a little bit more about Nirvana Medical Spa. So Nirvana Medical Spa was my passion, um, my, you know, my mind, Mm -hmm. you know, being at home, I wanted to do something that I really had interest and passion in. So I grew that brand into my, you know, existing from whatever vision I had. Mm -hmm. Uh, We're a full med spa. Um, We do anything from... um, um, facials mm-hmm. from to, um, from eyebrows to um, um, minimal invasive treatments um, like microneedling, um, aesthetics, injections, mm-hmm. fillers. So anything from you know the low end to the high end, more intense treatments. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're one you know you could come in and we're one stop shop for anything you may need actually. And your background, you're a medical esthetician yes. and a medical electrologist. Yes. Could you I'm tell a, us more? I'm a oh. medical esthetician, medical electrologist, and also I have a dual license that I can perform all laser treatments. Um, I just don't do aesthetics injections or any sort of that. We have um, two nurse practitioners on board, mm-hmm. um, medical esthetician myself and another esthetician. Mm-hmm. Um, um, a little bit about my <laughs> A little of my background. Yes, um, please. I went to the school. I went to the cosmetology school of Orlando mm-hmm. um, and got all my certifications, my trainings from there, and then started off in a little um, in a little spot um, in another spa, mm-hmm. um, and then grew from there and decided to just branch out completely and do my own thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. And yeah. so here we are. And so here we are. Um, <laughs> Touch wood, thank God, you know, I know that when you do everything with honesty and, mm-hmm. you know, with a good mind, a good a good intention for other people, I think it, God gives you double fold. And yeah. that's what I tried to do. My mm-hmm. vision was to help people with the knowledge I have, I carry, and um, just take it from there. And people did accept me and my team right now. Yeah. And that's how I think I became successful. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. What do you enjoy the most of what you do? I am, the most that I enjoy is doing consultations, meeting uh-huh. people every day. That's like the start of my day. Mm-hmm. I love to meet new people. I love mm-hmm. to have conversations and help them in any way I can, whether mm-hmm. it may be, you know, with facials or, you know, sometimes people just want to come and meet someone new right. and just get a new um, adventure, yeah. you know, <laughs> whether it may be a facial or right. my favorite, uh, my favorite um, treatment would be giving you, you know, a treatment that gives you um, a result. Yeah. So those kind of treatments are like dermal infusions, the mm-hmm. hydrofacials. Um, I love doing lasers. Mm-hmm. Um, I love doing resurfacing with lasers. Um, I love doing. Um, what do you extensions. use lasers most for? Uh, generally, we use them for pigmentation. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a lot of clientele that come in and have um, sunspots, acne scarring, mm-hmm. uh, hyperpigmentation, laser hair removal. Um, veins, okay. um, all of these things yeah. can be treated with lasers, and I love I love doing um, those things. And it's a way that you can truly help women by boosting that self confidence. Sure. I feel I feel like women already have the confidence mm-hmm. in them, but it's what they're lacking is just you know the outside of yeah. their skin. And then I just think that giving them a little bit of like refreshing their skin, whether it's tightening mm-hmm. or whether it's just removing a few sunspots, mm-hmm. it just gives them that boost, and they feel better about themselves. Yeah. And it's all possible, you know, so. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, room for growth. What are you planning for, you know, room growing for growth. your business? Right. Mm-hmm. So right now I'm in an interim location where mm-hmm. I'm renting. And um, my husband and I are building a, um, a commercial plaza mm-hmm. up on 27th Avenue uh, near Zaxby's by the mall. Mm-hmm. And uh, my location's going up there. And um, it's, it's my dream come true, you know, building what I really want yeah. and how I want it. And uh that's um, so exciting. That's, that's growth for me, yeah. <laughs> that's and perfect. So adding to the team? Or? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm adding to the team, too. I'm, I may, you know, add another nurse practitioner. Mm-hmm. Um, I, already, I just added an esthetician, mm-hmm. um, and um, um, I think 
So you're right on track. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. So what would you say as a business owner sharing mm -hmm. with other business owners who are watching? What would you say has helped you grow your business the most? I think what has helped me is networking. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm not from I Ocala. I didn't pay her to say this. <laughs> I'm not from Ocala and neither, you know, I don't have any family here. Mm -hmm. So it was really tough start for me as a business owner, you know, to start my uh, medical practice. Mm -hmm. But I did a lot of networking, a lot of good friends, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of mentors yeah. that I have. Uh, that have helped me through this way. Um, any information I got from anybody mm -hmm. was something that I just grasped, you right. know. Um, and I think the key is networking. Yeah. Just get out there, do the legwork because you mm -hmm. need it right. at first, um, but it really does pay off. Absolutely. And honesty, I think honesty yeah. and putting what you believe in out there mm -hmm. really does help. So if it's something you believe in and mm -hmm. you're doing it the right way, it's gonna pay off like it did for me. It's hard yeah. at first. Yeah. A lot of sweat, a lot of tears, Absolutely. because first you feel like, oh my goodness, you know, this is so hard. Yeah. But a lot of support, you know, a lot of support from your friends, mm -hmm. family, um, and, you know, networking is the most important for me. So I know you have a family. What do you do for fun outside of work? Outside of work. <laughs> I mean, Is there anything I outside change of a work? lot of hats. Um, <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm a business owner when I'm at work, but mm -hmm. when I go home, I change a hat to being, you know, a mother yeah. and a wife, you know, right. you, that's what you're mainly focusing on. So with my kids, I love to do um, activities like, you know, taking them out for um, the weekday is just like ice cream and stuff. Yeah. And then weekends, I, I try to take them out for like um, soccer practice and right. soccer games that yeah. I'd like to go with them for. And um, I try to do a lot of um, reading, mm -hmm. um, Kumon, and all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff right. like that just to keep them... Um, it's, it's exhausting, but... Do you know what you would want them to be? Would you want them to go into business for themselves? No, or? no. Um, my husband may have another opinion, uh -huh. but I'll keep, let him keep that to himself. But to me, it's always about following, you know, your dreams, yes. following what you, you know, want. Mm -hmm. I would never push my kids towards a specific profession. Mm -hmm. I always tell them, I'm like, you do what you have, you know, your mind in, in okay. your soul and what's right. what's your heart in that's what you do my daughter's like i want to be a singer and i'm like okay that's good <laughs> my son's like i want to be a police officer i'm like okay then that's what you do right um because i have i have i did i did go to college here after moving from africa mm -hmm. being married to my husband um and i did finance as a professional uh, a school yeah. in school and i became a financial analyst but that's exactly not what i'm doing right now because right. i didn't have the passion in that so i want my kids to follow you know what their heart is telling them to do good there's no profession bigger or, large, or smaller than any other it's just you thrive if you do what you really want to do you know so. i absolutely believe right. that right right well, that's perfect yeah. um before i let you go is there anything that you would like to share with the audience any um, cool new things going on at the spa <laughs> cool new things um we will have a grand opening um in december mm -hmm. so please have a look out come support my team and me um i would love to see everyone there you mm -hmm. know i know most most of my bni team my cep members um friends and family will be there but um you know it's nice to have the community come together to support Absolutely. other little uh, local businesses and um yeah, be on the lookout where we're, please come and enjoy a grand opening that we'll have soon. And just, you know, follow our page. And <laughs> Perfect. And it's yeah. Nirvana Medical Spa it's on Nirvana Facebook. It's Nirvana Medical Spa on Facebook mm -hmm. and Nirvana Medical Spa on Instagram. Um, just, you know. And your website is? Um, our website is nirvanamedicalspa.com. And um, you're yeah. keeping our, it simple. Yes, keeping it simple. Everything Perfect. is simple. Yes. Okay. Well, hey, thank you so much for well, being here. Well, thank you so much for having really me. Really enjoyed speaking with you. Same here. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. This was another great episode, and I'll catch you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.